Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing something a little bit new. I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, my channel truly is a lifestyle channel. And by that I mean really anything I want to talk about, like just about life. And so because every, I've been on YouTube for a couple years and I'm not one of those people who is like, oh my goodness, I need to streamline all my content. That way I can get 5 million views. No, like the few people who do watch me, um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. But you guys know for me, it truly is about trying things out and sharing them. Whether it be hair or makeup or beauty or whatever it is. And I'm venturing a little bit further because I really have been doing a lot of research into like alternative methods and the company Cora for tampons like organic cotton tampons reached out to me and I totally dropped the ball because I was way too busy to even get on that but it got me thinking about using something else when it comes to my period and menstruation so I was watching Just Kelly I love watching her she does like legit videos okay that girl is like here is my period blood right here <laughs> in case you wanted to see it and I love it so she got me thinking about menstrual cups and I decided to go ahead and give it a go I did lots of research on the different kinds I really wanted to try the Schoon cup I saw the Diva cup didn't get glowing reviews up front like I heard there was more of a learning curve for that and I really arrived at one that a lot of people love called the Lunette and one of the reasons why I got this over the Schoon is just simply because this particular cup was found in the store. I went to Whole Foods and I found it there. Um, and the sad part is it's $39.99 is what it retails for. And then I looked over and the Diva Cup was on sale for $29.99. And I was like, really? Really? The one time I actually want to buy this cup and the other one is on sale. But I figured I'd sacrifice that $10 because I'm getting really glowing reviews from this particular box. So what I decided was just suck it up, get the $39.99 cup, Maybe I'll try the Schoon Cup in the future, but I'm going to start with this. I haven't touched it at all. I haven't opened it, so we're going to unbox first. And what I'll do is within the same video, I'm going to go through and let you guys know how I feel about it after I insert it and all that. And then I'll come back and give you guys my final review. Today technically is day three of my period, but day one was like nothing at all. It was just pretty much like the struggle life, the cramping life. I have heard that these things are really good when it comes to stopping your flow or like reducing the amount you flow because my period is real okay it is like seven days straight of just outpour and I heard that using this uh, like a cup going to something a little bit more healthy or just I just started being scared of like all the chemicals that people put in tampons that I had no idea of and I'm like is this one of the contributing factors and I know nutrition is a huge thing but is this one of the contributing factors to why my flow has been just so much so getting right into it I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and show you guys what the packaging looks like so here is the lunette it's really cute they didn't have the pink ones in the store but I'm fine with it being clear because I just want to make sure that it stays sanitary and I want to be able to see that and so this is what the box looks like it says say hello to your little friend how cute and this is what it looks like I'm a little bit intimidated I'm not gonna lie so there is the cup wow and on the inside it has a little baggie I've watched like five million reviews of this it has a bag that you put it in and a little booklet so it says meet your vaginas new best friend <laughs> all right and it gives me instructions on what to do but let me show you guys the cup itself so here's the cup and interesting I'm a little nervous just because I'm like because I heard people saying it was hard or it wasn't hard I heard it was softer than the the um ooh than the diva cup wow this is definitely a lot smaller than I thought it would be but it's pretty pliable and just to let you guys know I have used the ring before because my gynecologist prescribed me birth control because of how bad my periods were and the very first one I decided to try just because I was like I don't know if I'll be able to take pills is um the NuvaRing so I used that for quite a while but the only issue with that is popping it in and popping it out every month like I noticed I don't know 
that's not what we're here to talk about. So I feel like I'll be alright with inserting this. Um, right now, I stopped using the pill because I'm like, I feel like it's too much hormones going on. Like, I really just need a solution that doesn't involve hormones. And so I have decided to try this. So it's a little bit tiny here. Ooh, okay. People have complained about this, and I see people cutting this because they say it sticks out or it's too long. But I feel like this is very soft. Made in Finland. And it has little lines, so um, I'm going to go try it out. I'm going to go wash my hands and read the instructions. I've seen definitely very many different ways of applying this. And I see that you either fold it like this. And let me zoom this in one more time. So I've seen that you can either fold it like halfway through like this and insert it. Or I've seen people do this just like this. And pop it in. I'm leaning towards this because just Kelly was saying that she was able to position it a little bit better like this. But I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know. This is kind of crazy. But I'm not squeamish about stuff like this. this is, menstruation is a normal power, part of life that literally all women go through. Okay? So, yeah. If you have gross negative comments, you can keep them to yourself. But let me go try this out and I'll come back and let you know my first impressions. Hey guys, so it's been about seven hours since I first put the cup in and I went to use the bathroom and I just felt like a little bit of spotting or saw a little bit of spotting when I wiped and since I had a panty liner on just for safety, just because I was like, let me just make sure I had a panty liner on, I saw like a little bit of spotting so I was like, okay, let me take it out and see what's up. Mind you, I took a little nap this afternoon. I feel awesome. Every now and then I do feel like a little bit of something, but it's because the little stick is like poking out. I've seen people cut it and let me tell you this, right? I will never cut that stick off. <laughs> never. Because that's what kind of helps me grab it to pull it out. So some people don't like it sticking out. Maybe with a couple of months of wear that's going to change but for now since I'm still starting out I'm going to leave it in there because I want to make sure that I can get it out so what I did was um, I just bared down like people talk about bearing down I've never given birth but I know what bearing down is about like when you're bearing down to like go to go poop and stuff like that so I just bared down and it kind of made my cervix push it down a little bit and I was able to just wiggle a little bit and pull it right out and when I tell you that it was full well maybe not full but it was almost full and that's about seven hours of wear and it says you can use it for about 12 could I have used it for about 12 mm, I feel like because there was just so much blood inside of it it was just starting to weigh down a little bit so I think the spotting is gonna be my cue as to when I need to go ahead and empty it out I'm actually really shocked that it actually held all of that blood it was crazy um, I took a picture. I'm not going to put it on here because, I don't know, I'm not like Kelly who just be putting everything out here. <laughs> but you're just going to have to believe me that it did work. It did hold. And I, all I did was just d dump it in the toilet. Washed it with um, the, what's it called? I'm going to put the name of the soap that I use on the screen so that you know exactly what, what I used. And then I put it back in. So I have it in, I napped with it, nothing happened, no mess, nothing. So, so far, it's a thumbs up for me. If I try a different cup, I'll come back and let you guys know, but I am definitely loving this, and I truly hope that this is the solution to me not spending when it comes to, like, menstrual products, and just, this is going to be a life changer for me, definitely. And I don't feel any cramps, like, I don't feel anything, um... When I put it in, at some point, I did feel like a little bit of bubbling. I like, I don't know, just like a little bit of adjusting. I don't even know what to call it. Just a little bit. And when I was laying down, when I woke up from my nap, like I felt the little stick a little bit. But because it's so soft, like I don't really mind it. It feels like the string that hangs out when you put a tampon on it, if that makes sense. Okay guys, so I am back and I just really needed to come back. I was going to end it earlier, but I wanted to come back and give you guys a little bit more of an update as to my thoughts and what I've been doing and how it's been working out for me. So yesterday, I put it in, 
I came back and told you guys everything was great. I took it out. There was an amount in there. There was a little bit of spotting, which told me it was time for it to be empty. So that was awesome. So I rinsed it off, put it back in. And I actually, when I put it back in around 7 p.m., I didn't take it out till the next morning. So I wanted to really test it out, not only through the night, but a full 12 hours, which is what it claims to do. And it was perfect. I did have a little bit of spotting when I woke up in the morning, which was fine because it was literally... Full. And by full I mean not to the brim, but full to like the little mark on the lunette cup itself. So I'm very, very, very pleased with it right now because, I mean, I thought about emptying it right before I went to bed, but I looked and I was like, no spotting, nothing. Well, you said 12 hours, so I'm going to test it out. So it worked fine. I woke up this morning, did a lot of cleaning, went to Zumba. Okay, I took this thing to Zumba and I was getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it, killing it, killing it, killing it. Went grocery shopping, came back home, did more cleaning, meal prepped for the week, dancing, singing, took it out, no spotting, nothing. Everything was great. So I am in love. I cannot believe how great this cup is. I'm just so amazed. If you guys have never considered this, please, I beg of you, do your research. Go online, search these menstrual cups, see what they're about, because I really think that not only is this going to save me a lot of money, but I literally don't even think about it all day. It's amazing. Like, I can just put it in the morning, go to work all day, come back home, take it out. Like, how amazing is this? So, definitely a very huge thumbs up for me. Just wanted to come back and let y'all know I'm doing all, I'm doing the most in these, in this Lunette Cup. And it's great so far. So, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, let me know below. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you in my next video. You can check out the rest of my videos. I'll have some over here for you to click on. But anywho, see you guys later. Bye!